Jin Shi uh, from Danish Meteorological Institute. Uh, I have been the Imonet Baltic Sea Checkpoint Coordinator. Uh, in the Baltic Sea Checkpoint, uh, uh, we have uh, assessed uh, the data adequacy and data availability uh, for the 11 challenging areas uh, to see if uh, the current uh, marine data, if they are uh, sufficient for these uh, 11 challenging areas, and where are the gaps, and then make recommendations to Imonet. Uh, until now, we have uh, made a, a, um, a literature review uh, of uh, existing uh, uh, marine, marine data uh, availability and also uh, we have uh, uh, demonstrated the, uh, the products for specific challenges by using this data and then during this practice we assessed the data quality if the, uh, the data adequacy if they fit uh, for the purpose for these uh, demonstrated uh, productions uh, this uh, yeah covering all the imonet uh, uh, themes uh, we found uh, actually there are many uh, uh, data that are locally available at national level, but they have not been collected uh, in the um, uh, or available uh, in the centralized uh, uh, data center yet. Also, um, another uh, outcome is uh, uh, we see modeling has been models have been a very powerful tool to be combined with uh, existing uh, monitoring data to fill in the gaps. I think this uh, so-called stress test approach uh, is uh, an efficient first step to identify the data adequacy um, of these uh, quite diverse uh, uh, marine observations. Um, because this is a, a qualitative approach and uh, uh, it demonstrates the data usage and then through this demonstration to illustrate the relevant corresponding data adequacy. It's quite a dedicated and uh, uh, yes, the scope is uh, a bit uh, limited but uh, as the first step is uh, very uh, useful and necessary. I hope uh, Imonet uh, uh, can in the future including uh, more and more uh, data which already existing uh, and now identified uh, in the checkpoint. I hope uh, the checkpoint practices can be continuing because uh, we are now doing qualitative assessment, uh, some more quantitative assessment for really optimize the investment of the European observations. Uh, that's a long-term goal up to 2020 also related to the Sustained European Ocean Observing System, EOOS. So I hope uh, in this uh, framework uh, more and more data will be collected and available and will be combined with models to provide a really um, a four-dimensional uh, kind of uh, uh, with uh, uh, less and less data gaps to <coughs> to serve the uh, stakeholders uh, in the future.